many of us own and use Bluetooth loudspeakers and they're really great. Uh, there's all sorts of them. There are small ones, there are larger ones, uh, there are cheap ones or low cost ones should I say and much higher quality ones which cost more. But basically they're all the same. They enable you to stream music from a device such as a mobile phone or a laptop or whatever uh, which doesn't have a really good audio system in it to one um, to the, the Bluetooth loudspeaker where the speaker is actually meant for reproducing music so the, the chances are that it'll be very very much better than the, the one in the, uh, the, the, the mobile device whatever it, it might be. But have you ever wondered what's inside it? Um, I certainly have and so what I did was to buy one, uh, a relatively cheap one I hasten to add, and to, to take apart and see what was inside it. So here we have our Bluetooth speaker in its box. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. First of all, there's, whoop, there's the charging cable, uh, standard USB-A to the, uh, the micro uh, USB there. And then we've got a jack lead, uh, miniature jack to miniature jack with, with stereo, uh, which is quite standard for a lot of things. And well, let's get the speaker out, which is not always as easy as you might think. Let's pull it out there, put the box to one side. First things first, let's have a look at the, uh, the manual. And in here we can see that there's the uh, oh it's in, in English there and a whole load of other languages that we'll be able to understand how to use it if it's not at all obvious and let's take the cover off it and yes it looks quite attractive there nice uh, front uh, a few uh, feet or some feet there to put it on and the controls at the top including a phone button which obviously means it's got a, a phone capability if your phone rings that's uh, connected to it you'll still be able to answer it uh, and all the usual buttons there and on the back we have a USB-A uh, the charging USB there uh, and the aux for the jack connectors or the jack lead we have the on off button and also a card there so you're obviously able to play music off a uh, a, a flash uh, memory card there. So that's our USB speaker. Let's turn it over and you can have a look at the front again. So that looks really good. Well, the first stage is to actually get the cover off. Most of these Bluetooth speakers, um, the way inside them, as you see, there are no screws around there. The way inside is first of all to get the cover off. And what I've done is to take a, uh, a wallpaper scraper and just ease it in there and it'll hopefully ease the oh, it's just come there so that can now come off and there's a bit of protection there and underneath that you can see the three things we've got there we've got two speakers and that's also a passive radiator to help the bass response for the speaker the next stage is to actually get the speaker assembly off and there are four screws here so we'll undo those screws um, I'll just get those nice and loose so that we can take this out quite nice and easily I'll just tip those out and make sure that we can keep them for for later just move those over to one side and we also need to remove the four screws around the passive radiator that blue element uh, on the uh, the front there as this is likely to hold in the front panel as well well the next stage is to go further into the the speaker but it's worth uh, saying a word of caution here because there's a battery in here and it's got quite a holds quite a bit of charge and you don't want to short it out otherwise the uh, the real results could be uh, quite uh, shall we say interesting and after a little bit of wrestling with it um, we've managed to get the speaker out and here you can see the two speakers themselves a little bit of insulation on their audio insulation and quite a heavy speak uh, magnet at the back of the speakers and you can see the speakers themselves so and we also had to take that surround off so 
there is the battery. You can see the battery there, the blue uh, one. And also here is the electronics. So in just a second, we will get that all out. So right here, we will just slide this printed circuit board out. And there's the bottom of it. And we'll just move things around slightly. You can see that there are the, the push buttons for the top. You can see them all on there. And uh, uh, there's also a microphone because this one also supports the um, uh, phone usage as well. It'll connect to the phone. So, And then on the back there, there are the push buttons, the power in, and the two uh, uh, USB sockets, and also a, a memory card supported there. So we'll just move that over like that so you can see the, uh, the top side there. And uh, it's all, all the electronics is contained within uh, that uh, board, the Bluetooth reception, and also the, uh, the audio amplifier. So here we see the printed circuit board. And what I've done is to take the connectors off. You can see the power connector there, which went in there, and the loudspeaker connector that went in there. Those are normally quite sticky to take out because uh, they're designed so that they don't fall, un fall out under vibration. And in fact, if we turn that over, you can see the speaker lines there, right plus, right minus, left plus, left minus there. Those go to the, uh, that goes directly to the connector and the driver outputs there, one for each channel there. And they will be sufficient for listening in a, a room, but they won't give you, because of their size, they haven't got the heat dissipation to give you a huge amount of output. So that, that's all pretty good for that. And here we see the Bluetooth um, communications IC. Um, there's a, a quartz crystal there, and you can also see the, uh, the antenna there that's used to pick up and uh, send actually uh, data back to the um, device that, with which it's communicating. So it's a, a two-way link, although the audio comes into the loudspeaker. So that's the, the major areas of it. There are a few other components to, uh, uh, for charging and the like there. So they will give all the, uh, the requirements that uh, is required for the uh, remaining operation of the Bluetooth loudspeaker. So that gives you a broad view of what is in the Bluetooth loudspeaker, the main components of it. And uh, it's actually, it looks relatively simple, although there's an awful lot of technology in there. And that's our quick teardown of the Bluetooth loudspeaker, and I hope you found it uh, useful and interesting. If you need to find out any more, head over to the description area down below, and uh, don't forget to watch more of our videos, and we'd be really grateful if you would subscribe to our channel and like the video. Thank you very much.